Hi, I'm Luke. Today on Out of Darts, I wanted to show off my first impressions of the FDL3. <laughs> this blaster is made by Foam Dart Launcher at projectfdl.com. Links and everything will be in the description. Jesse over at FDL and his family put together these incredible blasters, and this is the third one that he has done. Uh, those who have been watching will have seen that I did do a uh, FDL2 as well. The FDL2 is a great blaster. It's a very high performer, brushless flywheels, just a beast of a blaster. Uh, but it has some rather odd ergonomics and shape. Uh, so you've got exposed flywheels, you've got sort of a bulkier profile. Now the FDL3 takes all of the tech that was here and puts it into a brand new shell. And I just think that this thing is beautiful. I'm really impressed with the way the blaster is put together. It's sort of a jigsaw puzzle. All of these parts are designed in a way that make them print really, really well and really reliably. So you'll see up here, for instance, these two flat faces, those are the orientation for those pieces. And because of that, you get a very nice surface finish. Uh, Jesse's print quality is second to none as far as our hobby is concerned. And it's definitely the type of prints that I strive to print and sell myself. Now the blaster itself has a few main differences from the two. Uh, it is a little bit longer, but it is much narrower and it feels just substantially better in your hands. Uh, the grip is much more ergonomic. It is just a, this is easily like the best grip I've, I've felt on a, on a blaster. And uh, as far as a 3D printed blaster, and it is really, it's a powerhouse. It features brushless motors and a single trigger. So when you pull the trigger to fire, it fires one shot. I'm on full auto right now. And I like that functionality. As much as I've gotten used to a rev trigger, I did come from paintball. And when you're playing paintball, you don't have to pull a rev trigger uh, or any actual firearm for that matter. You really just pull the trigger and shoot. So this is point and click. And it's really fun. The new ergonomics are just really, really good. It feels great in your hands. It's better balanced. The grip is great. I like the location of the new meter considerably better than than before where it was on the back, which required me to pull it up in front of my face to look at it or point it down. Now I can keep this trained on, on the direction I want to fire and still glance down at the control there. So on this blaster, you can change a lot of settings, including the speed, which is the FPS of the blaster, the rate of fire, the burst setting, allowing for single, double, triple, or full auto. I love to run this in two shot burst. I think that's just a great mode because you very often can hit what you want with two darts. And then you've got some other additional speeds, which I don't actually know a whole lot about what they do. Um, min speed and max speed, I assume that's a certain threshold for when the blaster will fire the next shot. These blasters aren't cheap, but I wouldn't call them expensive for what's involved. This is a substantial amount of printing. I cannot believe how much plastic there is to actually print and put together. These blasters come fully assembled, so they are all soldered up and ready to fire, just like a blaster from the store. A few other interesting design tweaks that I really, really like. There is this lovely paddle here for releasing your magazine from your trigger well. So rather than, we've now got a nice stick, uh, nice normal lever paddle here for removing the mag, which I really like. On the original FDL, some people changed these out, but it was a button, or I should say the original FDL too. And I got used to this, but I still tend to prefer the paddle. But now we've got this option to control it with your uh, back of your middle finger, which for me is a really, really nice way to do this. The blaster has some other features, such as a customizable front part, as well as uh, different side plates that you can get. I have one that's actually going to go on the side here that is for the holster, and that will allow me to, to connect this to a magnetic holster uh, down the road, which I think is gonna be pretty, pretty fun as well. I have not got a chance to play test this yet. It is raining quite a bit here up in the Pacific Northwest, so I will be taking this down next weekend to Ragnar Oktoberfest. Details on that in the description as well. I hope to see a bunch of you out there. I will be demoing a bunch of different uh, uh, Jupiter and the Proton Pack. Uh, you can get your hands on them and play with them. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. This is going to be my primary for at least uh, 
one of the events. I'm still kind of playing around with what my loadout is going to be. Obviously, the Proton Pack will be involved as well, but I think this is going to be a very, very fun addition to my, my weekend. In addition to moving the display up to the top and the knob up to the top, Jesse has also added three buttons on either side, which can be customized to presets for, uh, I believe, firing modes and rate of fire and things like that, which I think would be really nice to be able to change on the fly with just a simple, simple button press. Uh, and there's a save load function in the little UI display. I really enjoyed watching the progression of the foam dart launcher from his first turreted version to the FDL2, to the FDL2X, to now the FDL3. Jesse was perhaps the first person to do a uh, 3D printed blaster from scratch. Uh, if he wasn't the very first person, then he was the first one to do a complete blaster with brushless, I believe. But either way, he's a pioneer in this space and I love seeing other creators making things like this. This is, in my opinion, despite being a more expensive blaster, is a tremendous value for the amount of love, effort, design time, and print time that went into creating this. The blaster also performs very well and it feels great in your hands. So I really do think that we're gonna see a lot more of these out there in the future. One of the most amazing parts about ordering an FDL is that you get to choose the colors of all of these different parts. Now, I chose some pretty simple stuff that was off the shelf, just a color scheme that I liked. And, uh, but there are the, Combinations are, are virtually endless, and Jesse has a huge range of filaments. And running my own shop, I know how challenging it is to print so many different brands and different colors. It's one of the reasons we don't have custom colors for Jupiter yet. And we will do that eventually, but again, it just takes more time. So there's really a lot of love and attention and effort going into this blaster. You can check out at Project FDL down in the description. Let me know what you think of this blaster. I'll have all the notes and info in the description if you have other questions or thoughts, uh, leave those in the comments and I will do a follow-up full review as well once I get a chance to actually play test this. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out of darts.